Mr. Adonison, while he was down here in QDC, he started investigating his case. So what he did was contacted a medical examiner about the name of Mr. Harry J. Mayo to look into the facts of the case. And when he did, he come to learn that the bullet had ricocheted off the ceiling when the sheep rock came down and hit the victim in the head. So when we made a request for them to produce the bullets, they only produced all the bullets that had pressure on them. They did not produce the bullet that had, that had the, uh, the defect in it from the ricochet. So Mr. Bunnell had turned around and made another request. But now he pointed out that the bullet was a ricochet, even that it was an accidental death. Well, as I like to hear when Mr. Donald filed his case, he filed insufficiencies of evidence that he did not cause the death of the victim by causing the contact wound. <clears throat> One of the justices agreed with him and said that Mr. Donald was actually innocent and that the evidence in his case did not prove contact direct wound. Well, unfortunately for Mr. Donald, his case was affirmed by the Court of Appeals. His case was actually affirmed on December the 24th, which is an impossible date. Because as we all know, all courthouses and, and most major government official operations are closed on December 24th. 